Okay, Steve Rogers here from TIG Integrity, another uh, transducer guard to suit the Garmin range of transducers. So if you can see here, this bracket, if you've got this bracket here on your boat, uh, they're all the same, um, all through the GT20 up to sort of 50 range, TM range, um, all gonna be the same bracket, just the transducers are a little bit longer, shorter, whatever, so um, yeah, that's already on there. I don't have one at the moment, so I just haven't, um, yeah, just haven't got it on there, and there's no point anyway, it's all, the guard, the guard's um, covers over the whole area anyway, so so if you've got that bracket, um, it'll, that stainless steel bracket there, this guard will fit. So, um, I'll just show you how to install it. So basically, Loosen off what you've already got. Just do one side only. That way you don't, have to, you don't change your setting where you've already got it. And I've just used, I'm just using these springies just to um, make it easy for you rather than have to sit there and watch it all. If I give you, if I put nylon nuts on there, just use the spring washers just to show you, got the idea. So you'll get these brackets and you'll get the new um, new nuts and bolts, stainless nuts and bolts to fit, so you get all that in the kit. So basically, wash it through there, through there. I've just, put, like I said, I'm just putting the spring, spring washer on there. Do it back up. Like I said, do one at a time. And that way you won't, your setting, your position won't change. Do that back up tightly, do it tight. Do the other side. If I knew how to edit, I'd probably edit it for you so you don't have to watch all this, but through there, in you go. Chuck that springy on there just to show you, make it quick. Like I said, I'll give you nylon nuts anyway, so they won't come loose. All right. Front it up. I just set, just set them sort of on the same plane. Um, you know, sort of level, parallel with the bottom of the, of the transducer. You're not really going to go wrong with it. So make sure they're tight. So they're tight. Coming back to how you were, you just happen to have these little brackets here now. So the guard itself, there it is. And like I said, it covers the transducer well. Goes on there, your cable comes through the hole. So if you cable, put your cables, if you've got any cable ties, just undo that. Put it through, the, through there, goes through the hole. I always supply it with these little nylon washers on there, just to, just so that um, I don't scratch it when I'm doing it up. But just ditch them when you get them because you don't need them. I just put, like I said, I just put them on there just so that I don't scratch them with the washer. So when you get the product, you're getting the best. You're not getting any scratches on it or anything. So that goes on there. That one goes on there and. So just putting a nut and bolt, a nut and washer on the other side of it, obviously. That's all accessible. Push the guard all the way back to the transom. Oop. Cheap tools. Okay, then do it up. When I make some money, I'll get some better tools, eh? So that goes under there. Do it up. And there you go. That was just dropped. All right. So there you go. There's your, um, your guard on there, covered. 
or covered for your Garmin range of transducers. So we we usually send one to two day one to two days after payment with the guards and the kit. We send express anywhere in the world. Um, the transaction by electronic funds transfer in Australia or PayPal if it's US overseas. US deliveries take about two weeks. Um, uh, as for tracking, you've got tracking generally, but US tracking for us over here, it doesn't come up very detailed, I've noticed. Canada's pretty good. Um, anyway, and, and also if you send me a photo, if you really were interested, send me a photo of the, your, tra your setup you've already got so that I can just check to 100% and I can all, always alter the guard if needed. At no, there's no cost in that either. So if I have to alter the guard, I have to cut a little bit out here or over here because you've got something else next to it, just send me a picture. If it's complicated, we'll get a couple of measurements off you and that way um, the guard will fit perfectly. I can guarantee perfect fit and operation. So there you go. That's the uh, Garmin range of transducer, transducer deflection, spray deflections. So uh, yeah, and I've got plenty there, I've got plenty Got plenty of other uh, models too, so if you want to check them out on other, on the other, uh, the other videos and so on. Anyway, sorry it's just a cheap video, but um, I just thought it'd be interesting. Just it'd be easy just to give you an instruction video how to put it on, and you can talk to me about it if you need to. Uh, my um, details. So this is how you, you need to ring me in Australia. It's uh, there's the phone number there. T I G Integrity, O four three nine triple nine seven three six. And if uh, you want to email, it's uh, tigintegrity at bigpond.com. And uh, you get a free sticker with it too. Pretty cool sticker, so. All right, thanks for watching.